I had to stop and, and, and ask myself, did you really give this same rigor to those other contractors' proposals? And I'm going, hell no. <laughs> It was awfully hard to be fair to them. Uh, and I really and truly had to, in fact, quite honestly, I, I, I just had to step back from it and say, you cannot let that bias you. You've got to read the proposal. You've got to give it an honest and as objectively as possible uh, an evaluation of it. And you have to make your, your uh, recommendation, you know, or your rating based on that. And that was tough. And if you're going to tear one of them up, tear them all up. And so I went back through them again, and I went back through them again. And after the, about the fourth pass through, I, I had some substantive things, pro and con, to, to say, and I felt like it was a fair review, so I was, okay, I can do this. And I, and I to the best of my ability to do it, I was finally able to, to give them all the same rigor that I did that one. It just, it, was, it just wasn't fair. I take it pretty seriously. Um, it's easy to lose focus on that in this environment simply because essentially we're not a military unit, but we're in a military organization. Uh, and what I do has the potential to save a life. It has the potential to, well, just being very blunt about it, it has the potential for somebody to walk home in good order instead of coming in a body bag. And it turned out that, uh, that another contractor got the award, but it wasn't, you know, it was as a result of the screening panel that, that did the recommendations. So I was relieved. Uh, if, we, if they had gotten the contract, I would have done everything I could to make it successful. But uh, that was tough. I, I, I just, I knew that that contractor couldn't do it. And it, it I had to be fair, and I, I think I was, I believe I was.